sometimes political power and will gets people to the table. And the reason I'm able to have three congressmen here tonight are they're afraid that we'll redistrict them and put them all in the same district. <laughs> but, <laughs> but with that, uh, let me thank Governing Magazine for this honor. And I want to say this, you know, it is something for, you know, a small town boy from a small, small rural eastern Kentucky town, population 1,200, that has been decimated by the loss of coal jobs to be honored nationally in Washington, D.C. So I take this and receive it with great pride, not for myself, but for the area I come from. And with that, with whatever success, and as it's been said, success has many fathers, I have to recognize a few people for that. You know, I have a family that puts up with me, and my wife, Regina, who is here, who supports me uh, all throughout the processes that we go through uh, year-round, because the legislative process is no longer a citizen legislator-type process. It is a part-time legislator. It has become a full-time job for me as being the Senate president. So without family and spouse, you aren't able to accomplish anything in the realm of politics. Likewise, I asked three friends to come up with me, and they're all here at the table. They are not just political allies. There's one Democrat and two Republicans at the table. They're not just all in in the elections. They're all in to help me, uh, to watch out for me, to guide me, to give me places to kind of hide and go to when the times get tough and you need some downtime. And without people like that to support you, you can't be successful. The other part of this is you have to have a good staff around you, and I have a good staff. To do good things, you have to have good people. And I have a very good staff that surrounds me, along with a great group of colleagues that are in my Senate leadership team, and Senator Givens and Thayer and Simon Higdon. But with that, us being Republicans, we also had to have a Democrat governor that was willing to reach back. Did we agree on Obamacare? No, but we tried to find solutions to prescri prescription drug abuse and the scourge of heroin. Did we agree on right to work? No, we didn't, but we tried to find areas such as telecommunications reform that made our state more competitive. So we knew that we had differences, but we tried to reach out to find the common points. So I have to give it a shout out to all those people who surround the process. Also, the three congressmen I somewhat joked about, along with Senator McConnell, who was here earlier tonight. These are people that I have either emulated or taken as mentors, whether they've known it or not. You know, I've watched Andy Barr, uh, Congressman Barr, as he came up through the ranks in his work ethic, and I truly did see how hard he worked. And I tried to work in, in a way that he worked, because I've never seen anybody work any harder. And Congressman Guthrie was my roommate in the Senate. And he was voted the nicest, one of the nicest congressmen in uh, the system or on Capitol Hill, both Senate and congressman. And the way he respected people, the way we worked for the five years that we roomed together in Frankfurt before he left me uh, and, came, and came to D.C., uh, I tried to emulate that. And then there's Congressman Rogers and Senator McConnell. These individuals have been mentors and not even knowing that they were mentors. I've watched how they have been tremendous and par tremendous political partisans during the election. But have I said, and I've watched them say, after the politics are over of the general election, we have to get down to figure out what the policy will be to move the state and the country forward. And then finally, anyone in politics and policy understand you have two things to work with, your reputation and the information and knowledge you can gain. And with that, I have to credit parents a mother who came from Boston after receiving her master's in 1943 to sight unseen to eastern Kentucky to relocate to help pregnant women in post and prenatal health care who met my father coming out of World War II after six years going through and being part of the greatest generation. They taught me ethics. They taught me the value of hard work. And they taught me that your public service and trying to help your fellow man is what you are here for. 
Congressman Guthrie has heard this quoted about my mother. If you find your little part of the world and make it better, and we all did that, what a wonderful world this would be. So the winners tonight and the honorees tonight are not me. It is the people of my constituency and the people of Kentucky and those people who helped put, and if you've ever heard this saying, a turtle on a fence post. Because if you see that turtle there, you know somebody had to put them there. So with that, I thank, I thank Governing Magazine for the recognition, not for myself, but for the people who have made me and molded me and the constituents that I have and the state of Kentucky for which I represent. And thank you all so much.